Today we're going to make two white pizzas. We're going to use that steel that we used in episode one of this series. If you didn't watch that one, I recommend you do. Maybe you have a pizza steel already. Maybe you're interested in getting one. Pizza stone's obviously better than doing it straight in the pan, but with a steel heated up properly, you're going to be able to do a New York style pizza in six to six and a half minutes. I'm going to show you all the ingredients on how to make both of these white pizzas. These have been out for roughly, I'd say an hour and a half, but we got to do the spinach first. So all we need for the spinach is spinach. And that's right here. This is five ounces. So it's a five ounce container. Got it from Whole Foods, but any supermarket will have it. You turn it to about medium low. By the way, when you're starting this and you're waiting for your dough to warm up, turn your oven on to 550 or however high your oven gets. Basically, you want your steel roughly seven inches from the top of your broiler, so maybe two racks down. You don't wanna launch your pizza on there until you get your highest maximum temperature, whatever that is. Mine gets to about 610. Yours might be a little different. A lot of modern ovens, they don't get to 550 and they might go to 525, but either way, you're gonna be fine. Just get it on for an hour prior to putting that pizza on there. All right, a little bit of olive oil. So here's the wet spinach. Let's get that in right now. You can cover this, but it's spinach. It's going to wilt extremely quickly. Try to mix that garlic all on top of it. And it's just a little bit of spinach, so just a little bit of salt with a little black pepper. That's it. Here's our spinach for our 15 to 16 inch pizza. Put this off to the side. All right, let's just go over to regatta really quick. Or regatta, or ricotta, or whatever way you want to say it. So here's palio, and here is galbani. They're very, very different. Now, the Palio is not open. The Galbani is open. The Galbani has a much grittier texture. Galbani would be great for a cannoli or maybe even some other stuff like that. Palio will uh, probably be more familiar to you, especially if you're from the tri-state area. Depending on which one you use, you might have to make a little bit of adjustments. I'm going to use Galbani for this. Palio is going to sit on the side. Normally, I use Palio in, in most of my recipes, but I've been liking the Galbani lately, so that's what I'm gonna use. You might be using another brand. They're all gonna be a little bit different. Some might need a touch of salt. Some might be a little dry. I'm not gonna give a recipe for a specific brand. So many of you are not gonna be able to find that brand and that's just, that's not gonna work. I am gonna go over a few things that I went over in the first one because this is really important. This is for dropping our dough ball in. These are very, very inexpensive pizza peels. $9. I didn't get them from Amazon. I got them from a company called Baked Co. This is a 16 inch from here to here, okay? Which will allow us to get pretty much the biggest size pizza in a home oven. They work really well. They're not heavy duty. The goal is to get the pizza, be able to launch the pizza through the oven. Right here, I have a shaker of semolina flour. Semolina right here. The only thing I use semolina for is to launch the pizza. So what you do is you take your semolina and you put a nice coating down on your peel. I'm gonna prep both of them right now. And you put them right next to where you're working. You stretch your dough, you, then you get it onto the peel. So you kind of need a decent sized work surface to do this. When you get it on the peel, you gotta make sure that it moves. If it doesn't move, that means you're not gonna be able to launch it into your oven. We're gonna do both of them at the same time and they're six minutes apart. And this is from Harbor Freight. And this tells me the temperature. And when I hit this against a steel, for my oven, I want it to be 600 to 610. For you, once you know your maximum temperature, that's what you're aiming for. You're gonna hit it and you're gonna wait until you get it and then you launch your pizza in. It's important when you start this to get all of your ingredients out ready to go. I have regatta here and and I have cheese here. Look, I put tape on my container. Palio 50-50. This means 50% whole milk and 50% part skin. Play around with it, which one you like. You're gonna find out what works the best for you, especially if you're using a different brand. There's so many different brands. They're all different. Pecorino Romano cheese. This is water. For the regular white pie we're gonna make, especially with the Galbani being dry, we need to put some moisture back into it. Normally on a regular pizza you have all that tomato sauce and then the cheese. With the white pie, you don't have that. So you wanna put a little bit of water and just a little bit. It's 
So this is the side that was on the bottom of the pan. All right, so that's, the, that's gonna be our top. Just take a couple fingers, and we're gonna start shaping the rim. You need more flour under there, put some more. Try to keep a circle. If you keep a circle the whole time, you have a better chance of keeping a circle uh, when you launch it, when you form it, everything. Try not to hit too much in the middle here because when we stretch it eventually, it might get a little too thin there. I'm just trying to like kind of open it up with my hands, kind of like this side here of my hand without touching the rim too much. I'm just gonna flip to the other side just for a second, just to kind of even out my rim without touching it. Okay, now we're gonna try to stretch it and we're gonna try to stretch it to fit our peel. So remember, this is my top. This is the top I want in the pizza. So with your knuckles like this, hit fingers kind of down, Okay, I'm gonna try to just stretch it. I'm gonna keep pulling. It's gonna kind of stretch it away. You can kind of see through it to see where it's a little thin and where it's a little thick. Normally it takes about two hours before you can stretch it well. And if you need to drop down, just drop down on your peel where you have the semolina instead of dropping down back on all this flour here. All right, so I'm gonna drop down it's nowhere near the size that we need yet. So we'll just stretch it again. Now, because we went down, we know this is our top. We can just get our knuckles under again and keep stretching. And it's as simple as that. All right, so I'm just gonna try to try to do it a little faster. And see, I got gained about another inch there. So that's about a 14 circumference. All right, now looks good and we'll do the other one and then we'll get our toppings on. If you're gonna prepare a couple, you can put plastic over this right now so it doesn't dry out. Same thing, semolina on top of here again is so it'll, so it'll slide nice. And in a plastic container like this, dough tends to slide a lot better with the oil. You know, a little too much flour on, you could just kind of shake it back and forth. With your knuckles, just try to pull it away a little bit. All right, so there's always room for improvement here. There may be a little thin right around here. Um, it's hard for you to see. That's why you want to leave a little bit in the center, more meat in the center, so as you're stretching, the center doesn't get too too thin. So right now we're gonna do the regular white. We don't have any sauce here, so we wanna add a little bit of moisture to it. So I'm just gonna paint a little bit of water here. Maybe a couple, couple brush strokes worth. And then here's the 50-50 polio skim and polio whole milk. That's pretty good. Anything you got that's maybe a little bit towards the, to the rim, just kind of move it in a little bit. I'm gonna take them and just kind of kind of knock them down with, with my finger like that. It's tempting to use a lot here. So again, just experiment, see how much you like. Some places will use a lot of cheese and then they'll have like kind of like circles almost of the regatta. Like there's a place near where I used to live, Branchinelli's. They, they have really good white and that's how theirs looks. Every place does it a little different. Now, if you weren't using Pecorino Romano, I recommend you put a little bit of salt on it too. But Pecorino is very salty, so don't have to do that. Tastes more uh, the way I want it to taste with garlic powder, so that's what I'm using. If you want to use regular garlic, you can. We're using regular garlic in the spinach one. Well, just don't go crazy. Probably like a quarter teaspoon there, just for that. Okay, and the final thing is make sure your pizza's moving. See how it's moving? Because you gotta be able to launch it. All right, same thing. And if you have, if you have to, you can just kind of use your hands and you can kind of just hold it down and just pull a little bit to stretch it a tiny bit more. Mozzarella again. All right, that looks good. And same thing, a little bit of regatta here. As you can see, I'm not using that much of anything. Make sure it moves. 
over here it might be sticking a little bit. So you might want to, if you could take a spatula and put a little bit more of the semolina. It's going to add a touch of the pecorino too. Yeah, that's sticking. See that? See how this side's moving? But this isn't moving. So we got to remedy that before we put it in or what'll happen is we won't be able to launch it. It's going to take my spatula, get a little bit under there. Okay, now we're moving, now we're moving again. All right, so we're ready to go. There, each one takes roughly six and a half minutes at my oven temperature, which is 600 to 610. If you're lower, it might take seven to eight minutes. After you do one, if you're using the quarter inch steel, which is what we're using, you might wanna wait a few minutes for the temperature of your steel to recover again. For inside the oven, this is a metal peel. You really wanna use a metal peel because you won't be able to get your wood one underneath to remove it on the steel. This is perfect. You can see that I didn't broil this. This took exactly six minutes, six minutes and two seconds. I'm not gonna put this white one in until I got my steel back at at least 580. This dough recipe works for these New York type of pizzas, the New York rounds, it works for the grandma pizza, and it works for Sicilian pizzas. Phenomenal. The only thing I would say is if you're trying to replicate that exact taste, use the polio. You know, I tied that one too. Just wanted to do the Galbani today. Spinach one, I'm not gonna try right now. That one is uh, gonna go to my mother-in-law who's coming over. I got interrupted. Amazon just came and I got a better pizza peel delivered, but I'll save that for the next episode. And we're going to make calzones. We're gonna make a chicken roll. I go through YouTube, I search for other videos. So nobody's doing that. Nobody has done that one. And I know you guys who, who live in this area, you probably love that one. I love it. It's one of my favorite things. Like this video, share it. Do all that, that really helps me out. I'll see you next time.